C'est au Manhattan Fast Food Dakar Sénégal, la grand-mère à l'hôpital dentaire Tout va bien, Kyle, moi ici, toi là-bas Le visa au consulat numéro 39 Y'a tant, y'a tant À l'état civil, déjà l'an 2000 Déjà 2000 ans au Manhattan Fast Food Dakar Sénégal, cinéma, le Paris Welcome to Arty Party and today we're making pea laffles. Yep. The falafels that rather than uh, being made from garbanzo beans or chickpeas, they're made out of peas and edamame, so they're this lovely bright green color. So um, we're going to need a bunch of ingredients. It's not that hard of a recipe, but it does involve a lot of stuff. So the first thing is um, these seeds here. I've got a trio of lovely seeds. I've got some fenugreek, some fennel, and some coriander seeds. And I'm using seeds because I'm toasting them back here in this small little pan, just until they turn a little darker. Just keep an eye on them because I can't tell you how many bunches of these I've burned. <laughs> I just toasted them until they change color a little bit and you can smell them. So good in here. Mmm, look how good that looks. I'm using a mixture of peas and edamame because edamame has some protein in it. Yum yum, right? Got about a cup each of both of them. They're defrosted. So nice and green. And then your spices. And then I have a shallot. And then a clove of garlic. I know, I put garlic in everything, but don't you? Come on. And then a little bit of mint because mint and peas go so well together. So I just have a handful here. Some salt. And a glug of extra virgin olive oil. And depending on whether you're using actual fresh peas that you've cooked, or I just used frozen ones, um, you might need a little bit of water. This is a great thing to make. Um, as a little party appetizer, you can make tiny little ones and serve them with drinks. My plan is to put this in a big um, pita pocket, pita bread pocket for dinner. Then you'll need a quarter cup of flour. You can use whatever kind you like. I have chickpea flour so I feel like it keeps it gluten-free if I use it. So this is for my gluten-free friends. This is just to make it hold a little bit um, to absorb some of that water and then it helps it develop a little bit of a crispy exterior. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just using a small non-stick skillet here. And I'm gonna use a combo of oils. You can use whatever you want. I'm just being extra picky. Uh, but I'm using a little bit of canola and a little bit of extra virgin, because extra virgin burns, and canola will maybe help it. I know it's incredibly picky, but that's just what I like to do. So there. So let that heat up until it's a little shimmery. And in the meantime, let's make a little pilafel. This isn't going to hold together all that well in your hands, which is why you kind of have to make it in real time. Make it right before you throw it in your little pan. There it goes. The coolest thing about these is that everything's already cooked, fully cooked. So you're just waiting for this to crisp on one side and then you're going to flip it over. And it only really takes about a minute before they're ready to go. Nice and crispy. And then I just put them on some paper towel to drain. And I have to say, I love falafel. I love it. It's so yummy. It's so great, especially if you don't feel like having any meat. It's so great. And I think it's possibly maybe one of the best things to come out of the Middle East. Apart from maybe belly dancing, which I really wish that I had a belly dancer here to show you.
make your second batch. <laughs> Our last little step is to make this yummy little yogurt sauce that you're going to put over the top. And yogurt sauce makes it sound so fancy because it's just yogurt. <laughs> so here's some yogurt. Plain old, not vanilla. And then I'm going to chop up some mint and throw it in there. Blink. Some salt. And then hello, that's your yogurt sauce. Isn't that fancy? And then you can put all kinds of veggies in here if you want like tomatoes and cucumbers and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just have some baby arugula here. And in goes your falafel. Put a couple in there. Ooh, sorry. In goes your pilafel. And then drizzle a little bit of your sauce on there. And that, my friends, is what they call lunch. Mm. Oh my gosh. I wish there had been a microphone right here, because then you could have heard it go crunch as I bit into it. Oh, it's so good. It's like crispy on the outside and wicked creamy on the inside. I have lipstick on my hands. <laughs> and then it's really fresh with all that arugula and then that yogurt just rounds it all out. My lord, it's so good. It's so easy. It came together like that. And maybe if you make it, a belly dancer will appear in your kitchen. Maybe. I don't know if you're lucky. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. And please subscribe and check out my website, artyparty.com. See you next week.